Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have part two of the Goodwill Blue Box from Nashville, Tennessee. Such a good box. Part two, I think even better. So, if you haven't seen part one, I'm going to put it up here in the corner. So, when you're done watching this, you just click over that. That way you can see part one. We are resellers. We sell on multiple lines. We bring everything to you first. We give you a discount up front, so you don't need to ask for uh, a discount. So all you have to do is listen. If you see something you like, all you do is send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com with the timestamp and description of the item you're looking for. If you are um, haven't purchased from us before, be sure to send your email to us um, and uh, not your email your mailing address shipping is five dollars the united states under a pound anything over a pound or based outside of the united states is based on where you're located and how much it weighs and we only take requests in our email so we don't take requests and comments so be sure to email us and let me think if there's anything else we do paypal you don't have to have a paypal account you can pay for it um, with a click of a button as a guest. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think so. So this is a tremendous box. I am impressed with it. So I'm not going to hold you. Let's go on to see what we find in part two. Thank you. All right, this one is broken. One of the um, seed bead strands is broken. So this is just going to be a dollar. Uh, no name, but it is cute. Um, oh, there is a name. Arena Paris. So this is an owl with little rhinestone eyes and little feet. Um, it looks like it's um, articulated, but it is not. And it's signed on the back, Orlina Paris. And um, Orlina Paris actually is um, vintage and it is a French company of high, high end costume jewelry. And it was from 1977 to 2005. And noteworthy, all the making process was all made by hand. So all handmade, enameling, assembling, polishing. Traditionally, the jewelers used um, gold and silver tone alloy and often textured. And that's what this is too. And according to the design, jewelers often used red, blue, and white enamels in the color of the French flag. Also green, purple, and black enamel, rhinestones, art glass, crystals. So that's interesting. It is a really good company, um, was a good company of high quality. And it allows, uh, it was allowed to produce jewelry for fashion brands such as um, Lanvin. I think that's how you say it, L-A-N-V-I-N, Pierre Boschmain, um, Helena Rubenstein or Stein. I'm not sure which one that is. And Bossy, uh, how do you say that word? Balenciaga, uh, Balenciaga. Um, so really high-end companies. As I said, it was um, uh, located in France and it did Art Deco and modernist styling. Um, so interesting. And like I said, it did go out of business in 2005. So this is a cute little piece, well, well made, very, very heavy, um, like quality heavy. The chain is a Rolo chain. It has um, a spring ring closure. Let me close this so I can get a size for you. That is so cute. This was the item that I said was so cute in the very beginning that I couldn't get it untangled. So this is 20 inch chain and the little owl is with the bell, it is one and a half inch by about one inch by one inch. 
I'm gonna do 35 on the little owl. That is a sweet piece. Okay, here. Um, I see no um, name. There's a little discoloration on the lobster clasp, but not much. Um, there's nothing missing. Uh, these are actually a really nice. Um, there's nothing missing, and it's lots of vibrant colors. The length is 17 inches with a two and three fourths inch extension. And on this, I'm just gonna say, let's do $8. We have, what does that say? Avon. Um, a little rose, Avon. There's some little discolorations. Actually, it's little scratches on the leaves. And um, like right, right here and here. So I'm just gonna do um, $4 on the Avon. Here we have another um, brooch. This is super heavy. It is definitely brass with enamel flowers. That is a very old, nice piece. Looks like the um, pen back has been replaced. So I'm just gonna say $5 on that. Here we have, let's see what we have. <laughs> we have um, really, um, it is oxidized or gunmetal um, station acrylic beads. Um, it is 42 inches, and I'm just gonna say, let's do $5 on that one. Um, isn't this interesting? Let's see if we have a name. Yes, it says something. Hmm. It's a copyright. It looks like Preco, maybe? I'm not real sure. But it is like the man in the moon. So full moon and then a crescent moon and like different faces for the moon. It is actually very cute. It is a size seven. I don't see any um, comparatives. So I'm gonna say, let's just do $10 because that's an interesting piece. Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, this is not magnetic. Let's see if it says anything. I think it says CF Goldfield. It is um, a little rose gold um, disc with a lobster clasp. Right now it is set at a size six and it has an inch extension. So on this, I'm gonna say $8. Here we have See if it's signed. It is not signed. 
These are rice pearls. It is gray and white or cream. There is three strands, um, two of the white, one of the gray. And each one of them is kind of in a different shape. Kind of, they're kind of all the same, but kind of different. <laughs> it is 19 inches. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $10 on the rice pearl strand. All right, this is a beautiful. It says West Germany. It has a sp older spring ring. It has these beautiful glass uh, beads and these um, tube um, pieces in between them. And it is just gorgeous. This is so far my favorite piece. And it is 48 inches. Aren't that green is just gorgeous. Um, on this West Germany piece with the glass beads, I'm going to say $20. Um, okay, um, little um, seed bead um, ring that is a size 9, but it can be probably an 8 comfortably or up to a 10. like so. There is just a turned wire on the ends. And I'm just going to say $5. Okay, here we go. I untangled it um, off camera because it was ridiculous. Some of it, some of it I didn't. All right, this is just a multi-layer seed bead necklace with a little wood disc hanging from it. Um, it, it's discolored, so I'm just going to say a dollar for that one. We have a um, barrel class, a really nice hematite with needles, and I'm going to say let's just do $2 for the hematite. Unfortunately, this piece is super pretty. Let me get it untangled. It is a Trafari, um, but it is missing blue rhinestones. It's missing one, two, three, four, um, which is a shame. It's a pretty piece, well made. And I'm gonna say, let's just do a dollar since it's missing the rhinestones. Um, this one literally is just twisted tying but there's, it's broken because there's nothing on this side. Um, you could just tie it. Um, but that's pretty. Um, these are um, glass and then just a light feather. But I'm going to just sell the this part because um, you need to fix this part. So just for the beads, I'm going to say let's do $3.00. Um, this is just a stretch um, painted wood necklace for a dollar. Um, let's see, this, um, maybe an anklet. It's about 12 inches, so it could be a choker. Uh, but it's discolored, so just a dollar. Um, this is glass beads with a um, toggle clasp and some hematite. It is six and a half inches 
and I'm gonna say just uh, $4 on that one. So I'm gonna say just um, $2 on that and you can get the tangle out. Now this one, also a small tangle still in it, and its little tab says 14K. All right, let me get the tangle out real quick. Okay, these uh, knots were tiny, tiny. So what I did was I fast forwarded so um, you could kind of see it, but it didn't take forever. And I use a hat pin um, because it's pointed and really skinny. So it gets the tangles out really, really well. Okay, these are diamonds. Now I'm gonna test and see if this is uh, 14 karat gold. I'm gonna test the clasp. Right there. And then I'm gonna do the chain. And then I'm gonna do the little pendant. It said 14. Okay, so I'm using 14 karat because it did say 14 karat. We're just gonna sit that right there for a second and let's read what the tag says. It says MK. Maybe Michael Kors. It is pretty. Let's get a measurement while we're sitting here waiting for that. It is 16 inches little diamond um, necklace. And I believe it is 14 karat. It hasn't um, faded at all. No, it hasn't faded at all. And the way I do it is um, if it tests as um, gold, I sell it, but before I ship it, I test it with the key gold tester. Um, actually, before I invoice, I test it with the key gold tester and um, just to be positive. Because we want to be sure that what we're selling is exactly what we say it is. So I'm going to say $75 for the 14 karat white gold and diamond little pendant. You know, you're going along here and you're just having a good time going through jewelry and then all of a sudden you get some gold. And it's like, oh, I was having fun before, but gold makes it a little funner. <sighs> is funner a word? I'm not sure. All right, this is a beadball necklace. It is 27 inches and um, it is magnetic. So I'm just gonna say uh, $3. Then we have this. Let's see if these are real. They are not. It's just a satellite necklace, uh, silver tone, lobster clasp. Um, necklace and it's the fish wire. Um, I don't know what else to call it. Um, it is 16 inches with a three inch extension. Uh, so I'm just gonna say, let's do, let's just do $7. And this one says, shopping at sea. And Effie, I don't know what that means. Um, but I'm just gonna say, uh, $3 on the little shopping at sea. This is just beads, um, so a dollar. A little ring that is faux, it's a bow. Um, I don't see any missing rhinestones. It is discolored right on the edges 
It is a size eight. It's cute as could be. Um, so I'm gonna say $10 for the bow ring, even though it's a little discolored. Uh, this says New York. It's like so. That's glass. So I'm just gonna say $2. This is interesting. This is a lot of chains. Um, it's twisted, so it needs to be untwisted, like, so. It's multicolor, black, and silver, so two, four, six, seven chains. And the shortest one is twenty inches. There's a bug flying around. <laughs> So I'm just gonna say $5 on the chain. Here is a gold tone leaf. It is not magnetic. Got a lot of copper in it. So I'm just gonna say, it is, one and three fourths of an inch by one and a half, and it's a brooch. I'm just gonna say $5. Now this is knotted together. One is a limited brace uh, necklace, and then this leather, um, which is really pretty. Um, It's just silver tone with these little glass beads. And together, I'm just gonna say for the two necklaces, it's gonna be $2 that are still knotted. You have to unknot. Uh, this is stretched out, so it's gonna be a dollar. This is really nice. This is a premier design. There's the tag right there. And it is like hematite and these square glass pieces. And it is stationed, but it is super long. You could double or triple this even fact. It has a three inch extension and it is 48 inches. So I'm gonna put this in a bag because it um, is stationed and it's very easy to get knotted with other pieces. So on the Premier Design, I'm gonna say let's do $7. Then we have this knot. Um, I'm not sure how many necklaces are here, but there's a lot of lobster clasps. Um, so I'm just going to say $2 on that one. If it is knotted, somebody's going to have to unknot it. Um, this is a New York, and it's a J. Like so, with rhinestones. I'm just going to say a dollar on that one. This one's really pretty. I didn't see a name on it. But it says love, and then flowers. And then a little rhinestone. And it's um, like a Rolo or a cable chain. No, this is a cable chain. Um, just silver tone. It is 20 inches with the heart being an inch by an inch. And I'm gonna say, let's do $5. Now this one is a Charming Charlie. It's just a chain. It's discolored, so a dollar. Earrings. I'm gonna say three dollars on the owls is glass isn't that pretty that is gorgeous uh, such detail it's a 3d glass um, in purple and white and blue and I'm gonna say let's do eight dollars on that that is super pretty this is leather it looks like 
possibly brass. It goes like, I guess it goes like so. I'm going to say just $5 and it is seven and a half inches. Got this one. Let's see. Is this a faux Pandora? Just to be sure, you have to open it up and look for the signature inside. If it doesn't say A L A L E and S925 or 925, it's faux. And this one is faux. It's not magnetic. None of these are signed. And when you get these, definitely check them because a lot of people do... Um, Pandora and not Pandora. So these are all glass. This is with the beads on it, a size six and three fourths. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $10 on the faux Pandora or Pandora style necklace. This one is pretty. It is a size seven and a quarter. So I'm just gonna say $2. I guess we just have this one and this is um, inlaid with different gemstones that is super nice it is a size 8 and I'm gonna say let's do um, let's do six dollars on that one then we have all of these let's see if any of them are magnetic So these are all magnetic. This one is rhinestones with missing rhinestones. This one is unsigned, but it has enamel in the center that is a bluish green. And then this one, which is some type of metal, but for one, two, three, four, five, I'm just gonna say $2 on those. We have a pendant here. Let's see if we see a signature on it. It's just silver tone, but it's like so. It's like a tube um, pendant. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $5 on that one. This is a pendant. This is a shell um, with gold tone. Well, it's not magnetic, so let's see if it's So these are the two things that we are measuring right here and right here. This is 10. And this one is 14. 14 disappeared immediately. And there is the 10 still. I think it is beginning to fade. So I'm just gonna say it is gold tone and I'm gonna say $5 on that one. It's a pendant. Now here we have a bail. It says it was $8 or maybe it was something besides that. But this looks like faux something, a uh, gold tone, a uh, gold filled or something, gold plated. But I'm just going to say $5 on that one. It's a pendant. These in a bits and pieces yet. I'm going to keep them because I have another box that is from Nashville, like this one. So we might have some pieces in that. So I'm just going to hold this and all these one pieces. So I've not seen any matches. 
and there might be something matching in that. This is a brooch. It says CTA. Isn't that pretty? It is just gold tone basket of flowers. So I'm going to say $5 for that. We have a match here. Let's see what these say. But these match. Those are really pretty. And I'm going to say, let's do $8 on these. They are branded. I just can't read it. So $8. Let me put these back together so they don't get separated. Okay, this one is a Kendra Scott ring. Open in the back, adjustable. It is a size um, seven and a half, um, but it could be probably an eight or a seven also. Um, so on the Kendra Scott, I'm gonna do $10. And then we have these earrings that have a match. Let's see if they have a name. I don't see a name, but it looks like it's supposed to be maybe Doug's or fish, I'm not sure. So these are gonna be $10. And then this ring, let's see. This is just silver plated, it's just a little band, and it is like a gold tone. And it's a seven and a quarter. I'm just gonna say $3 on that. And this really cool piece, um, is not, um, gold, um, or sterling, and, um, it's just a really cool piece with these symbols. So, I'm gonna say, let me give you a, just this part right here is sterling, and it is two and a half inches with the bail, and about one and seven eighths of an inch with the bail. Let's see if it says anything on the bail. <laughs> no, I don't see anything at all. So on this piece right here, um, oh, and let me show you, it is half inch almost. Eh, probably three eighths of an inch. Such a cool piece. This could be turquoise. It is silver tone or a lower silver. So uh, I believe it's Egyptian, but I'm gonna do 45. What do you think? Some pretty cool pieces. We got name brand. We got some um, gold. We have some sterling. We have um, th some interesting pieces. Um, Kendra Scott, just pretty pieces, I think. And um, diamonds and 14 karat, you can't go bad with. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. Please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Bye.